So one of our amazing viewers wrote in and said, is it okay if I fantasize that we're talking to you, fantasize about you when I masturbate? I didn't see this comment. I haven't shared it with you yet. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, you could always look. So they, wait, so me, look, this is, I'm reading how from read about sex.com. Kathy Bartilli from the intimacy dojo.com. So the title of this video is, is it okay to masturbate to us? Yeah. Can I fantasize about you when I masturbate? Wow. Okay. Um, well, I mean, just on all grounds of how I'm an educator, I, philosophically, I have to say, of course it's okay. Right. But um, I think they were also asking about what's, what's they the ethics. They permission? Or? Permission and also what's the ethics of fantasizing about someone when they masturbate. Oh, okay. So the permission, they were asking specifically about you. Yeah. So you can share what your thoughts are about that, which you're okay with it. Yeah. And then what is the ethics of fantasizing about people when you masturbate? Oh, so really, this is an inter this is a great question. So whoever yeah. whoever is asking, um, yes, you get to you're masturbate fine. twice. You're fine. Tariq. You, no, it's it's not like a finite number. Like, <laughs> only two times make them count. Um, no, I'm personally I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's creepy, mm -hmm. um, and I think people who are in you know public figures or are out there like in some ways. You know, you might inspire people, or people think you're hot, or whatever, and then then you are now fodder for their fantasies. Oh, I sometimes or it might get... be at work, someone that you see in the hallway, or a coworker. Yeah. So where it gets tricky, I think, is digitally. Like if this person never wrote in, mm -hmm. um, then I w I would never know about this, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so if I don't know, then unless I'm thinking about like woo woo energetic you know, people doing like weird energy kind of stuff, if I believed in that stuff. Um, and I do, I, I go both ways. I'm pragmatist and then I'm, I'm also, uh, I like my woo woo. So if I never knew about it, then it t tends not to have a kind of impact mm -hmm. on me. If I do know about it, like if I'm, if I'm, and especially if I'm, if I'm like you said, the office, mm -hmm. right? Like if, or a good friend that may not feel that way about you. Yeah, so people can get weird about stuff, especially if you're like, well, yeah, if always you just like had making real, sideways glances. It's the last, you know, several months you've had hot sex. I mean, in your head with this person, it could make the interaction yeah. weird because you've had experiences that that other person has it. Well, and and I think this is comes down to an interesting question about we don't teach people like the rules of engagement mm -hmm. for fantasy. So some people are really sloppy with their fantasies and their fantasies kind of spill out into the real world so that you, now you're distracted and you can't focus because you've been jerking off to your boss or whomever <laughs> um, or your favorite YouTube celebrity. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I'm like, well, if you, if you removed the shame and the guilt and you gave people tools to be like, oh yeah, like, you know, I was diddling and, you know, Reed or, you know, Chris Helmsworth or whomever, you know, my coworker popped into my head and I'm like, I created a really hot, cool scene. Um, or you had like a dream, which you don't have a lot of control over mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you just enjoyed it. And so then you kind of had your experience and you just enjoyed it. Yeah. And then when you're in a room with them at a meeting, you can shift gears and actually be a part of reality with this person that you do not actually have that kind of relationship with. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people just aren't coordinated. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I think for myself, I try, like, just looking inside, what I do is, one, if it's someone I'm a friend with or close to, I try not to fantasize about them without their permission. Okay. Um, just because I don't want to make the relationship strange. But I will sometimes look at the characteristics of the person and see what I like. Why am I drawn to fantasizing about them? Oh, that person is really warm or they pay attention this way. Or, and I can pull or that. Or you just like them. Yeah. Right? But there, there may be some aspect of them that I'm particularly enjoying. Mm. And I can create that in a, 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 a generic person. Like I can mm. make a fantasy about someone that has those traits. Um, I don't think there's a problem with public figures. Sometimes I don't know, but I don't want to make it kind of weird with a friend. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, have you had friends that you asked? 
I have a couple of friends that I've asked. Because now I'm like, I'm like, well, I think the asking might make, might be the thing that makes it weird. So how did that go? Um, it was fine, but I don't, I've only asked people I was really close to who mm. they knew I was not going to like become stalkerish. Yeah. So um, I think it depends. Like, look at yourself. Do you get really hooked on people? If you do, fantasizing about them might not be a wise choice mm-hmm. because it might make the relationship weird. And the, for me, real life interactions are much more important than yeah. fantasies. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, maybe you find someone on TV that you love, that mm-hmm. you want to fantasize about instead. Um, but if you can handle it, if you don't feel like it's going to be a problem, either ask them or I think what we do in our own minds is ours to do. Mm-hmm. But if it's having repercussions in the real world, we may make choices not to do it. Got it. I mean, hey, you know, my crazy idea that's in my head right now is you can start like a whole Secret Santa fantasy club at work and uh, and then just hand people pick out names and be like, oh, wow, I have Bob. All right. Um, I don't know. Maybe that'll work. What are your ideas? What are yeah, your thoughts? We'd love to know. Um, and, and you all have permission like to fantasize about me. I don't know. I don't know about Kathy. I won't speak on Kathy's behalf. As long as it doesn't make anything weird if we meet in person, I'm fine with it. All right. Cool. Comments, hit subscribe, never see you again, I don't know, that's it. (laughs) Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. And please subscribe to this channel there. If you'd like to see more of you, Reed and Kathy, there's more videos there. See the play there!